Hey, what's happening folks? So, um, quick video without notice, right? I've been posting some pictures of the enclosures that I use on the Lucky Deck that's been released. So, um, that's the uh, ESC enclosure that's available to purchase outside as a standalone unit. Um, and it comes shipped, or it comes shipped on the complete, um, on the Lucky ZFG deck. So let's zoom in on that. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool, right? You've got all the plastic grommets in there and it's fairly solid. So um, that's purpose built for the Maker X DV6 and DV6 Pro, right? So it's a pretty cool bit of kit. Um, but for the battery element, um, a few people have been messaging me. They've been looking at my back catalog of builds and noticing that uh, my choice of battery enclosure has changed somewhat. And if you do take a look at some of my prior builds, right, um, I do the uh, 3D printed stuff. Um, which are pretty cool and, and this is one of the hybrid 3D prints I've done and I've kept it um, as a reminder of how cool stuff looks when you DIY, right? But when it comes to a production board that has to meet, I guess, the requirements, or not requirements, I guess, standards to the point where uh, can it take a beating? Can, if you fall on the board and you're doing 30 kilometers an hour and it slides upside down on concrete, is it gonna withstand um, that impact, right? And uh, for the most part, these style enclosures, the Pelican case, they are absolutely bulletproof. You can throw just about anything you want at these enclosures and they will keep on ticking. What I love most about these enclosures is their ability uh, to be easily uplifted and accommodate any type of routing from loop keys, from power routes to charge cords as well. So really adaptable. Um, and you can get a really clean finish on them as well. Um, and nice and neat, they come in different colors. Um, the other cool thing I love about these enclosures is the fact that they're so quick to open and get access to all your key elements you know key elements being your battery um, you can see that the um, T nuts have been uh, welded in place so that can be secured underneath and they're all uh, the standard cable routing over there as well these enclosures do have a rubber seal on the outside and you can epoxy seal those out outlets as well so you can be relatively sure that um, even though you've drilled holes in this uh, battery enclosure it will retain a high degree of water resistance not waterproof i think waterproof that sort of comments gone out of fashion right nothing's really waterproof water resistant right it has uh, a high degree of water resistance and the key challenge with, with these styles of enclosures, also if, when they're exposed to water and exposed to element, they will degrade over time. Um, and for a $110, $120, um, walk in a store, walk out a store, versus five, six days worth of print build time to get a sweet high finish, I mean, it's an easy choice to get, right? Um, you, you cannot beat these enclosures. And, and you know, talk about strength. A good example when we look at strength, um, you know, you just do a hammer test. You can get any of these enclosures and you can give it a good old whack. It's fallen off. And you know, not even a scratch, right? Nothing, not even a dint. They're, they're really solid. Um, do you want to see me hit this awesome enclosure? I don't know. I feel kind of bad doing it. So much work's gone into it. There's like nuts going all the way up throughout. Um, but dare I say, I mean, if we were just to tap this, you're done. So that has literally cracked. So no matter how good you can get an enclosure, look at that. 
Um, that's all right. I'm not going to use it again. Don't cry, folks. Um, I can easily print it off myself because I've got heaps of uh, material to do it with. But that's just a quick demonstration as to uh, why I've made the shift away from doing these shelf queen enclosures. It's what I call it, right? I'm not into that shelf queen stuff anymore. Um, I'm more focused on what can I put on a board that is going to withstand the most abuse possible. And that's why, um, you know, carbon fiber, stainless steel, um, pallet case, it, it's the way to go. It's the uh, absolute way to go. So I hope that sort of sheds some light as to why I choose the enclosures I do for the Lucky Build. Um, um, I uh, hope it demonstrates, you know, I am a little bit crazy, right? You know, uh, it's a lot of work that went into that. But just with that little tap, you can actually see how much damage uh, can be impacted on that enclosure versus this guy, which I can just literally hammer all day. Nothing will break this thing. It is, it is freaking solid. Um, so, um, yeah, so a bit of background why I choose the components I do, and I hope that sheds some light on it. Also, that's on my site now, so I'm gonna be looking to do, uh, doing a couple batch builds in the coming weeks. So if you're keen, reach out, let me know. I'm happy to help you folks out. Apart from that, hope you have a nice day. Peace out.